Hi everyone, welcome to Water Tanks with Stewie JP. I'm Stewie, you're not, and either any of these blokes, this is a tier 10 Clan Wars extravaganza. That's right, Water Tanks with Stewie JP extravaganza. We've got two 10 versus 10 Clan Wars replays and two 15 versus 15 Clan Wars replays from the recently concluded Fire Trail campaign, which went for 11 nights, I think it was, on uh, on the Asia server. Well, these are from the Asia server, of course, it went on all over the world. The first game that we can see is from the old mate Stewie. Little Stewie, no relation, Stewie with a Y in the Progetto 65, the tier 10 auto-reloading Italian medium tank, and is leading the charge of a heap of auto-loaders plus a couple of, uh, plus a light tank and a couple of Object 140s on Sandy River, and they're up against old uh, sparring partner Rain. Rain had a, had a red hot go in the campaign as well. Today's video is going to feature 1AR as well as uh, some Yeti replays and um, what are they going to be? All? They're all going to be pretty quick though. This is four replays in one video and um, like I said, extravaganza, four replays in one video. They're all gonna, they are all going to be pretty fast and furious battles. This is 10 versus 10 on Sand River. Some, some pretty good celebrities here in the 1AR um, in the 1AR group, the old mate Jezelinko, Von the Burglar, Renork, Only One, Fred Wah, Sticks, Think the Bub, Force X. They're running around with uh, lots of medium tanks, all medium tanks apart from one. One EBR 105. Of course, the EBR 105, you saw plenty of those in the Clan Walls campaign. They're proven to be a pretty handy light tank, the tier 10 French. Uh, wheelie bin, that's what we call them at 1AR anyway, the wheelie bin. Two EBRs on uh, range team, an Object 277 and an IS-7, both both spotted over there at uh, at G1. Like I said, four replays in today's video. Stewie doing the spotting here in the southwest with the EBR running around up there north. Jez will be having a great time up there with the enemy EBR 105 trying to take him out because none of his teammates can help him from back here. Everybody's down here in the south and this is where the push is going to be. At least I think. Anyway, looks like the EBR has been spotted a couple of times over there in the north. Stewie has uh, he's blocked the shot there. He did get one shot into the enemy EBR 105, and this is where the push is coming. The push is coming in towards um, little Stewie. Stewie with a white, no relation, in the Progetto 65. He loves this thing, and look at the camo he's got on this bad boy. It looks like an Aussie tank. He picks up the first kill, getting rid of the Object 277, and then it is an all-in brawl. Unfortunately, I'm sure it wasn't intentional. He blocked a couple of his teammates as he's trying to get out of the way while he's re loading of course the the uh, the Italian auto reloading medium tank takes the takes a little bit of time to um, to reload the scores two zip and he's clearly having a look at the EBR on a one shot there with von the burglar in the batch at 25 T two ones a score little Stewie Stewie with a wide no relation the one who makes those epic intros and outros for not just me but a lot of the community contributors and other content providers on uh, YouTube and Twitch check him out links will be down below along with all the other stuff he's pinging the map like a madman so right here boys we need to get ready here I'm tipping here that some of the uh, some of these bat chats will be reloading but uh, that doesn't matter little Stewie's looking there to get back in the fight he's got a full clip ready to rock and roll puts one shot into the object 277 puts in another shot he's still got two rounds in his clip third shot goes into the back of him and here's one on a one shot so he'll say thank you very much and that makes kill number four five kills now five zero a one ar versus rain it's a 10 versus 10 in fact it might not be a 10 versus 10 it looks like it might just be a 10 versus nine which is unfortunate for rain it looks like now everybody's going to reload and head back to the base and try and get rid of these last two enemy tanks so it looks like they may rain may be trying for a last minute um a last minute cap. Plenty of hit points up for grabs though when they go back for the reset and for these final two kills. An object uh, 140 as well as a WZ triple one five a both on full hit, hit points. Of course, the EBR 105 is very low and by the time little Stewie comes around this corner, he'll have a full clip ready to rock and roll as he bounces the first shot from the object 140. That's, that's his 320 hit points of block damage. It looks like they're getting a hell off the cap now because a, a kill shot on the EBR would be nice. Auto aims and shoots into the back of the Object 140. Gives him a little bit of a tap. Shoots him again. Takes him down to 773. Hit points. Shoots him one more time. Leaves him on two health. Shoots him for the kill. That's his third kill. And that brings the score back to 9-0, which is going to be a win for 1AR up against Rain on Sand River. Let's have a look at the result before we move on to the second replay in today's extravaganza. Like I said, this is going to be all... F four replays, four replays in one video from 1AR and Yeti. The next one comes to you from JT, my old mate JT, who I met in Sydney not too long ago. But let's have a quick look at the result from 1AR versus Rain. Unfortunately, Rain were one tank short, but a good spread of damage there. Stewie storming through as the caller and the um, 
A hero in the Pajetto with over 4,000 hit points. A few there on 2,000, a few on 1,000, and it uh, looks like they had a great time. And that's the main thing. Even made a few credits in that one, uh, 24,000 credits. That's with a standard account in that four-and-a-half-minute battle. As we move on to game number two, this is an extravaganza, folks. That's right, four replays in one video, all from the Clan Wars Fire Trail campaign that, uh, that was on in, uh, was it June? I think it was June. Yeah, the start of June. This is JT in the 113. JT in the 113 leading up. Um, leading up Yeti, Yeti clan this time they're up against Teal Teal uh, ended up ended up winning the the, the contest and uh, here we go JT in the 113 this is the first time I've watched this one and look at the camera on that bad boy three marks of excellence he knows what he's doing he's no dummy we're on um on Himmelsdorf this time, two 113s, an AMX 50B, an Object 260, an Object 279E, three Chieftains, the VK 7201K, and of course Safi in his bat chat, which he absolutely loves. We'll see him in, uh, we'll, I reckon we'll see him pretty soon having a, having a great time. JT charging up the two line, up the railway line, up against Teal here. We can see on the minimap, World Enemy Tanks are some heavy tanks down there where the heavy tanks normally do their stuff. The AMX 50B and the Chieftains down here on the G line, ready to, ready to pounce on the enemy enemy team. JT has no problem penetrating the object 279. Any frontally he shoots him once. I think he might uh, be about to shoot him again. There you go. And uh, who says they are hard to penetrate from the front? Unfortunately, he gets taken out. And... Um, with a score of 1-1 one, one there, but he did his job there. He went up there and he found out where these tanks were, that's for sure. Looking at the uh, the rest of the tanks on the mini-map as JT furiously pings the map, as you do when you're calling a, a tight, intense battle. Here comes Safi in the bat chat. Shoots the, uh, shoots the object 279 once. Now, well, hopefully he's got a full clip here. Shoots him in the back once. Shoots him twice. Is he going to get the kill shot? He, yes, he does. Gets a kill on. That's the final personal mission uh, reward tank. The... Object 279E, which a lot of people, a lot of people um, were playing him in this in this uh, in this Clan Wars campaign back in June. Three fours to score. The Eddie boys are down by one tank. They're up against Teal. What did Teal bring? A couple of Object 260s, four Object 260s, three Object 279Es, a couple of Chieftains, an AMX 50B as well. And we're looking at a Chieftain now, Anime Lord Tanya. That's a pretty cool in-game name. And it's a pretty good tank too. I was lucky enough to grab this tank not too long ago. The last um, the last, uh, the last, last campaign we had, I'm pretty excited about that. The T95 FV4201. The Chieftain looking at the mini-map. Lots of tanks there for Teal down there in the southwest. And so, of course, the push for Yeti has to be in the northeast. Get rid of those uh, that, that other Object 279E as well as the Chieftain up there. Looks like it's a three or four versus two, but at least one of those auto loaders are reloading. Savvy putting one into the Chieftain. Should shoot him again for the kill shot. The BK gets a kill on the other Chieftain and that means this part of the map here, the northeast part of the square, is now well and truly won from Yeti's point of view. 6-4 is the score. 6-4 is the score. So it's 6 versus 4. That's how it works. The um, What have they got? Yeti have got the AMX 50B, the 279, a couple of Chieftains, the BK and the Bat Chat all ready to rock and roll. Teal have only got 4 tanks remaining. Make that 3. As uh, Make that 2. 8-4. Two, 2 heavy tanks remaining. The Object 260, which is the, the last personal mission tank from the first lot and the 279E from the second lot of personal missions. Lord Anime Lord Tanya there in the T95 FE4201 going for the kill shot on the, is it the, no it's a, he's going to, he, she's going to be, he or she is going to be penetrating, trying to penetrate him frontally no, he drives past, goes for the shot in the back and that can, that confirms a win on Himmelsdorf for Yeti 10 to 4. Let's have a look at the results yet again before we move on to the third and final. Third and final? No, the second last, the penultimate replay in today's Tier 10 extravaganza, Clan Wars extravaganza. The first two replays were 10 versus 10. The next two are going to be 15 versus 15, but don't worry. They're still going to be pretty fast and furious. Unfortunately for JT, he didn't get too much out there, but uh, he had a good time. It showed that it wasn't too hard to penetrate those uh, new reward tanks frontally uh, from his point of view anyway. Uh, plenty of, uh, again, plenty of damage done by a lot of players in that one and it was only a uh, only a three minute battle uh, but that's what happens I guess with these 10 versus 10s when you, you jump in it's an all in brawl it's a case of who can focus fire the best and I reckon uh, even though Teal ended up winning the whole competition yet he certainly uh, gave him a run for their money in that battle and and, and focus fire a much much better indeed. and Safi again showing how the um Showing how the, the auto-loading French medium tank can uh, can still have a great time, even on maps like Himmelsdorf. Let's move on to our third replay now, because that's all. You don't want to miss it. You don't want to blink. You don't want to miss uh, 
too much of these. This is Prokhorovka. Prokhorovka. Now this game's going to be between you and me. This game's going to be even quicker. Yeti on Prokhorovka. 15 versus 15. Four chieftains. A heap of 907s. Too many. Too many to count. One Striv. Three EBR 105s. And uh, this is Slav Prince in the EBR 105, jumping over, getting a critical hit into the EBR 105 on the enemy team, getting hit for 468 from somebody up there on the hill, and deciding it's time to get the hell out of dodge. After doing that initial spotting run, that's what you, that's what you often see. You often see from the north or the south uh, an EBR or a light tank just running through this little uh, little village, I guess you'd call it, on the eastern side of the railway, just to try and spot whatever's happening there. Slav Prince finding the finding finding the EBR 105 on the enemy team, which is I think it's Rainbow Assassin. Yes, it is. Loses Abarak, gets hit there, get to do a beautiful jump over the railway line get out of there before um, before he gets taken out. Use his repair kit to fix the Amarak. And now he's waiting there, waiting for, see if Rainbow Assassin in the EBR 105 pokes over. Looking at the minimap, you can see uh, Yeti have put, firmly committed all the tanks into the middle of the uh, of the, the field, I guess you would call it, where Teal, Teal have sort of split. You can see a lot of tanks have been spotted down the southwest, a few over there in the east, and um, Slav Prince being very, very lucky there, bouncing a shot from behind and getting hit by HE for only 128 hit points from uh, Rainbow Assassin in the EBR 105. Takes his time aiming, shoots and flips him, and that brings the score back to 4-1. One kill to Slav Prince from Yeti Clan. 400 damage done, a little bit of assisted damage. Of course, that's what it's all about in the light tank. It's all about the assisted damage, and uh, now you can see again on the minimap, EBR on the enemy team. That'll be, I'm not going to even try to pronounce this guy's name, but trying to give a little bit of grief to the Striv 103. The 907s and the Chieftains trying to help the Striv 103, but tanks are dropping off left, right and centre in the southwest, which is where a lot of the tanks have been spotted. But of course, Yeti well and truly now own the eastern side of the railway line with a score on 6-1. 7-1 now. 8-2 as uh, Savvy picks up a kill on the enemy EBA. We'll be pretty excited about that. And look at this! <laughs> He made it. That's how you do it, folks. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Just do a jump, a bit of a, a bit of a flip, and now I think it's uh, I think Slav Prince will be picking audio. A little bit more damage would be nice. Gets 127 hit points into the side of the Chief 103B. Confirms his second kill, and now um, all looks like all the till players are left in the southwest corner on the one-two line. You can see the EBR 105 here. That's Daffy there getting vision on there, and Slav Prince coming down to do the same to try and clean up with the score on 10. 2, 11-2, there's artillery, thank you very much, still bringing your tier 9 American artillery, of course the M53, M55, a lot of people will tell you it's a, it's a, a very, very handy option for clan wars and um, well, that's proof that it is. 14-2, just one tank remaining, it's the uh, T95 Chieftain, and Starfleet's now waiting for, waiting for uh, the kill shot, doesn't quite get the kill shot, 15-2, a comprehensive victory on Prokhorovka. But um, that's what sometimes that's what Clan Wars battles can be like. Fast, furious, and no stuffing around nonsense. Slav Prince from Yeti Clan in the uh, the EBR 105. And uh, let's have a, another look at the result before we before we move on to our fourth and final replay. Tier 10 Clan Wars, 15 versus 15. It's going to be Yeti again. This time it's going to be on highway. And again, a good spread of damage by the lads and ladettes from Yeti Clan. Having a great time by the looks of it, jumping around in their EBRs. And, and of course, that's the EBRs. Are, that's Prok Prokhorovka. It's, it's a map that's made for the French wheel light tank. Again, that one only went for 3 minutes and uh, 17 seconds. Wasn't too bad. Wasn't too bad at all. Great. Like I said, great spread of damage. And um, look, if you've got some Clan Wars replays, send them over. Send them over and we'll see and we'll see what we can do. I do have a lot of replays to get through and having just had a holiday. But um, but we'll, uh, we'll do what we can. We'll do what we can. Now, once again, do not blink when you watch this one. This one's going to be pretty fast and furious as well. This is Yeti again. This time they're on highway and this time they're up against Gazelle, which is another very strong clan who did very, very well. I'm not sure where they placed in the rankings, but I'm sure they were... But correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sure they were top five. Anyway, looking at uh, looking up to, looking at Yeti's lineup, you can see a heap of AMX 50Bs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven AMX 50Bs. Four Object 277s, a couple of Batchats, and a couple of EBR 105s. Again, zero zeros a score, and they are charging towards the eastern flank of highway with all their tanks. Well, as quick as they can. Anyway, AMX 50B, not uh, not the fastest 
tank in, in the world. This one's been sent to me from the Flying Elite. The Flying Elite's been sending me videos for a long, long time. Puts one into one of the Chieftains. And um, is he trying to shoot um, more than one Chieftain? I'm not sure where those, that last shot goes, but, but uh, he's pulling back for the reload. And of course, I know the Flying Elite well, and I reckon I know him pretty well. He'll have a pretty groovy crew in this bad boy, and that crew will have the right crew skills and the right equipment, including the uh, strong coffee, which is going to help his reload time, help that uh, auto-loading French heavy tank to get those four clips ready to rock and roll before um, before before you know it. Lots of celebrities in this game as well. Bolognese, he's been around for a while. Slav King, Slav Queen, Slav Prince. I wonder if they're all related. Pac Manius, he's been around. <laughs> he's joined, I forgot he joined Yeti for the campaign. Zappy Legends, of course. Flank and Spank, what a legend. Legends all over the place as uh, Flying Elite and his friends start moving into the city to try and take on the uh, these very strong tanks from Gazelle. A few Chieftains, a couple of 260s, some 907s, a 140 EBR. One EBR has already been killed. One of the Chieftains already been killed. The score is 3-1 and the Flying Elite now getting into the city. Getting, uh, he, wants, he wants some more damage. He's hungry. He's got four shells ready to rock and roll. 120 millimeter gun. 400 alpha damage. 325 penetration with APCA. And you can see he's not stuffing around with any other ammunition types. Because this is clan wars. This is where it all um, where it all happens. He's going there to try and help Safi. He shoots the object. 907. Did he track him? I think he might have tracked him. Shoots him. Safi gets the kill. Put pokes around the corner. Five twos a score. And he's full for choice there. Goes for the... Whoops. What's that name? Boeing 787. That's a pretty cool name. Not a bad plane either. 5 2 is the score. Um, Flying Elite takes a couple of shots for his teammates down to 997 hit points. Make that 538, which of course it's 537 more than he needs. Putting some buildings and that train between him and the enemy tanks as that French gun reloads. 2,075 hit points of damage done so far. 699 assisted damage and side on shots into these tanks. Goes for the tracking shot. Shoots the object 140. Keeps him tracked. Looking, looking, maybe getting a kill shot. No, Slav Prince and the Slav Queen both picked up a couple of kills there. Bringing the score back to 11-3. And uh, he'll be saying, there we go. That'll be a nice kill shot. Doesn't, uh, I don't think that shot landed, let alone penetrated, as he hides in here behind this building on 203 hit points as the French auto-loading gun starts to reload. Looks like that Striv 103B was just shooting in Flying Elite's general direction. So if he's going to poke, he's going to have to poke from a different side. The Object 261 looking very, very nervous indeed. The Striv gets taken out by Hoagie in the Object 277. The score on 13 to 4. Flying Elite charging forward, looking for some more damage. Hungry, hungry for some more damage. But I think that Object 907 is going to be taken out before he gets a chance to get there. 15 to 4 on highway. That's uh, that's Yeti versus Gazelle. And that's going to wind up our Tier 10 Clan Wars extravaganza. Flying Elite, thank you very much. JT, thank you very much as well. And, of course, my old mate, Little Stewie, thank you for those replays. The Fire Trail Clan Wars event finished on, I think it was about the 15th, maybe the 15th of June. It was a couple of days after I uh, took off for a little bit of a holiday. And, uh, look, if you've got some Clan Wars replays you want uh, showcased, be sure to send them my way. I've kept a copy of the old client so we don't have the, the occasional problem that we occasionally get with replays. Again, a great spread of damage from the lads and ledets from Yeti Clan. Quite a few getting over the 3,000 damage mark. And they obviously had a great time in that uh, three and a half minute game. Once again, thanks for the replays, lads. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care and see you all next time. <laughs>